Hi, my name is Tobin from Tobin Saw 2, and this is the Judo and Self-Defense episode. Today I'm here at the Odd Squad and Police Judo headquarters in Burnaby, BC. And surprise, my instructor is actually my big sister, Lana. Today she'll be teaching us how to fall safely, how to get up properly, and also a little bit of self-defense. But remember, safety first. Hey Tobin, before we get started, can you put on your gi for me, please? Can you explain why we wear this uniform called a judo gi? It may look like pajamas, but actually it saves our clothes from being ripped and it's easier for our partners to take a grip. Okay, let's go! Can you explain to everyone why we bow before we practice with each other? We bow to each other to show respect. If we don't respect each other, we might not have anybody to train with. Okay, now let's get into some breakfall practice. So sometimes we end up falling. It could be as simple as slipping on ice, falling off a bike, or even tripping on a walk. But if you know how to fall properly, you're less likely to get seriously injured. First thing to remember is to tuck in your chin. So imagine that you have a piece of paper under your chin that you don't want to let go. So then, when you fall back, you won't hit your head on the mat. The second thing is, when you fall, keep your palms open and your hands not too far out and not too close. They're at 45 degrees. That way, you won't injure your arms when you fall. So let's try adding those two things together, okay? Tuck in your chin and slap the mat. Good. Now, we're going to try our side break falls. We're going to start in the same position. I'm going to move my right leg out and my right hand and I'm going to slap. An important thing to learn is how to get up safely. Let's practice getting up safely forward, okay? So first, we're gonna bend our right leg in and we're gonna move up onto our right knee. Make sure when you do this that your toes are active and not flat, okay? So remember to keep your hands up and then stand up. Okay, we'll try it one more time. Rolling up, hands up, hands up, and standing up. This one's a little bit trickier. So we're gonna sit on our butt, our right knee in, and our right hand up, acting as a shield. We're gonna lift ourselves up, and then switch. Switch arms and lift up. So keep your hands out and lift up and kick all the way through and stand up. Again, lift up and all the way through. Good. So now, Tobin, I'm going to give you a little push and you're gonna create a safe distance and stand up safely backwards, okay? Your guys' break falls are looking great. Let's get Tobin to show how to do a proper break fall from a throw called Osoto Gary. As you can see, I'm holding on to him and not letting his arm go because I'm protecting his fall. And Tobin has his chin tucked in and his legs evenly spaced out, not crossed over. Okay, Tobin, can you show how to get up safely? 
Nice job. Try practicing this and making it a routine because it'll be there when you need it. Thank <laughs> you.